This is the final product of this Wildcat family. The first one was 8mm, this one is 10.6 or 416. Here is one of the original 8mm tri cases made from a 375 H&H. Firing it in my uh, first rifle's chamber, the body has to blow out to the same diameter as the belt. It looks like an extra extraction groove, and we'll get some close-ups on that later. And my 8mm case has turned into a 416 case, and it's just that simple. Some people are making a really big deal about this, so I thought I would uh, do a YouTube video to explain it. It still has the double extraction groove looking thing from the case swelling out. If I shot five full power loads out of this thing, it would probably iron that out to where it would look pretty much like a uh, 375 Ruger case. But that's how you solve the chicken and the egg problem. You start out with a really home-brewed step down in stair steps, 375 case, and then trim it, and then stuff a blank load in it with a false shoulder so it can't jump forward on you, and you shoot it in your uh, 8mm magnum chamber, and then down the road I went into a bottom of a drawer and scrounged these up, Reblanked them with new primers and new cream of wheat loads, 15 grains of uh, I am uh, Dupont 700 uh, shotgun powder, and uh, away we go. Presto digio, brand new uh, 416 case. Still not a particularly good idea to bet the farm on these uh, swelled out cases, but I sent about five of them back to Hornady Corporation and got a really nice set of case forming dies in which the final die, final one of five, was a full length sizing die for my Wildcat, 8mm. And then later, I formed up some, by expanding the necks of some of my uh, 8mm's and also uh, taking some basic uh, Ruger brass and putting a 45 and then a uh, 40 caliber neck into it and then expanding it back to the a little over the 416, I generated enough shoulder to uh, fire form some in this rifle to get my uh, 416 Wildcat. Both these cases are the same length and both have the same case body taper. Both are actually made with the same reamer, believe it or not, and both are head spaced with the same go gauge. The difference is this is a 2R chamber. It's actually an 8mm reamer with a 416 pilot on the front of it, and then my gunsmith, who has a complete set of neck throat reamers, puts the second neck throat in and independently cuts the neck length and the throat in the barrel ahead of the uh, chamber he's already done with the earlier 8mm reamer. So in a way, these the 8mm rifle you saw earlier in this one are joined at the hip. I can actually simply run them in, fire them, no worry, and I got my 416 caliber cases. Second time around, I sent three cases to uh, L.E. Wilson and they made me up a custom case uh, holder for my uh, lay type case trimmer that they made years and years ago. And so I use that to uh, trim all of my Wildcat brood. I'm getting set to take it to a new level, but in a way they're still going to be joined at the hip. formed case with the neck about halfway to come off. So these cases did their job in the original fire forming steps and blowing them out in one step from 8mm to uh, 416 is cutting it kind of close. But this gives a good example of fire forming brass. The barrel is 
slightly warm, not even hot. Uh, I saved the price of half a dozen dollar bullets, and uh, it's time for these guys to hit the road. That's basically what I have to say. Uh, Thank you for uh, tuning in on this little uh, soiree. Thank you. Bye.